Boom, what up? Solar Renekton only here, back and doing some more League of Legends. Actually, I'm playing some jacks up in the top lane. Ouch. Paid. Uh, we're against this guy, Chogath. Oop. Oh, damn. Dodge it. Okay, we like this. We like this. We like this a lot. That was a really good dodge. Okay. Oh my god, man. You can't keep doing this. You don't have the mana. Oh, whoops. I chilled. Uh, probably just eating and running. Oh my god, he's crazy. He has no mana now. Don't do that. Level 1, you use all of your mana. How are you going to contest me now? He doesn't have any mana regen. Well, he's got passive when he kills a unit. But it's super early in the game like this. It's like 5 mana back. It's nothing. And then he doesn't have a... Uh, he doesn't have ring, Doran's ring. Time to go. Mm, I'm going to flash. Well, that's not fun. Who needs mana when you have team? You gotta be careful. Uh... No! I never miss those. I never miss those. I need to trim the wave a little bit though. I get the also the nice bonus of ooh. Excuse me, sir. You have no mana. Remember? I see your teammate on my mini map. I am not afraid. Cool. That worked out pretty well for me. This guy thought he was way stronger than he was. I mean, I have E. E blocks auto attacks. So generally, like, the amount of minions that he had right there was pretty good. Against most champions, he'd probably win that fight, but I blocked the damage from those minions for two seconds. That's a lot of DPS that I deny. Because, like, this amount of minions was about how much he had. Probably, like, 100, 150. Yeah, I'm just going to leave here. The fight. It's like 150 DPS, so damage per second. So if I'm blocking it for two seconds, it's like 300 damage that I blocked, right? That's a third of my health right now. So it's pretty meaningful. I mean, I didn't win that fight by more than 300 health, did I? Okay, I'm going over here. This, and one of these. Well, let's roll. All right, cool. Oh, this is actually gonna be really good for the Abyssal Mask. Nice. Magic damage, decent amount of magic damage, Q and R. Uh, magic damage, obviously, magic damage. Yeah, this would be quite good. Is he actually here? Oh, this dude is wild. He's like in, look at the river. Yoink. He's invading through this and this. I mean, he sees this, obviously he doesn't know about the ward. That works for us though, noise. Yoink that kill. <laughs> all me, all me. Damn, I'm so good. But yeah, it's gonna be a great game for. Ooh, nice little dodge here. Oh, get the cannon. I love it. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice game for the Abyssal Mask. Abyssal Mask really shines when the enemy has a lot of AP and you have a decent amount of AP. You slash your team. Because you're reducing magic resist on the enemy team, and then you're also getting bonus magic resist based on how many people you are playing the curse to. Alright, let's pop this potion. Cool. Could have put the pink ward there, that's for sure. I'm gonna shove this wave, try to get my level six. He's in mid lane, they might be lane swapping. Here's my level six. By the way, if he's gonna go aftershock, like his Q strat, he probably could have done that if he went like Comet build. Cause then he'd have, ah, I just still don't think, that, yeah, you just still don't have enough mana to do that. You just gotta be more conservative in the first few levels on a lot of these, uh... It's like Malphite's the same thing. Like, people will spam out Q to poke on Malphite at level 1, and then they won't be able to play the game, because they'll have no mana. Or, same thing with GP, people will spam out Q level 1 on GP, they won't even stack it with, like, his grass procs, and they'll just have no mana to keep pressure up. And it didn't even have to be that many. He just had to, like, not do, you know. He did Qs half as much. Because he would still put out, like, good pressure. Like, I had to, like, 
dodge everything and play around it. And it was actually pretty annoying. And he was building up a stacked wave. It's just he had no mana to finish that play. So even though he's probably safe there in most cases, if he had like 200 mana, he's probably safe there. You know? Because there's a shitload of minions and he has enough mana to cast spells to stall out until my E's over and then, yeah. Could get pretty spicy for me. Just gotta be careful. Ooh. So something you can do now is since you have a empowered hit every third hit, you play around that. Oh. oh my god. So obviously the easy way to do that is auto the minions twice and then leap onto your opponent. Do I hold this one in my inventory or put it here? I'm actually not sure what's better. It's probably better in my inventory now that I think about it. Because I don't think the vision spotting the Warwick over here is going to matter. What I think is more important... Because he's just going to press W on me when he gets into that bush. He's going to assume I have a Warden there and pr press W. So I'll already know when he's coming. And then I could have the Ward on me. Like right here, if the minion wave wasn't there, I'd have no jump back. Obviously a minion's here, I can jump to the wave like that. But I would have a ward, be able to jump to the ward. I mean, I'm kind of trolling right now. I'm pretty sure I can dodge most of his abilities. So, being super greedy, trying to get enough gold to one-shot my item. I mean, we got the wave slow pushing into us, so we can always just stall this out. Do stuff like this. See how the minions aren't even finishing their attack? Canceling the hit. Okay, getting some value out of that ward. Oops, I'm trolling. Did not click. Oh my god, the amount of CS I'm missing. This guy's rotating down on mid lane. A little TLDR on this champion. Oh my god, as I just do a little uh, clinic on how to miss all of your farm. Yeah, he rotated into mid. I'm just going to shove this wave and then reset. Bro. Dear god. At least I always get cannons. Yes! Okay, man of my word. Man of my word. Uh, might do Q max. More mobility in this matchup. As this guy gets more CDR, he's going to spam that Q. Oh god. Please! Please! Oh my god. The minion block. Leave. Alright, I have my item. Happy. So yeah, passive. Attack speed every time you auto attack and you build up to 8 stacks. So the longer you get into a fight, the better your passive is going to usually be. You're going to be auto attacking quite a bit. Synergizes really well with Conqueror. Synergizes really well with Lethal Tempo, which is what you normally take. I thought I had Lethal Tempo. I'm just noticing now that I have Conqueror. I mean, it's fine. Lethal Tempo is a little bit better because of the increased range. So again, you can jump towards. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, I didn't move fast. Pop potion too. Nah. I mean, I flash. Hmm. Okay. We'll take that. We'll take that. Yeah, it kind of messed up a little bit. I could have ignited way earlier and gotten the kill without having to like commit so so hard with all my summoners and then I might have had my flash available still for the Syndra maybe it's all good but yeah ease the uh, little helicopter thing you spin your weapon your lamp over your head block all incoming auto attacks for up to two seconds but you could make it disappear after one after one second you can reactivate it ending it early and stunning anybody around you like this or you can just let it time out. After two seconds, it'll still do the same thing, stun anybody around you. Q obviously the leap, W empowered auto attack, increases the range by 50 units as well. So we got that third hit. Every third hit is that empowered auto attack from our passive. So again, two autos on the minion, leap to the opponent. Oh, here we're just gonna do this. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Guy's got a friend in me. I'm dead for sure. Ooh. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, I got two hits off of this guy. Neither one of them was the ultimate. A little unfortunate. Yeah, Merc Chad's going to be gold in here. I'll be happy with that. That's a lot of crowd control to deal with. Okay. Should make it a little bit better. Yeah, because he really kited me out there on the first part. He had boot two versus no boots. Slow crocodile, man. A little bit greedy. Wish I still had my ignite. I had to use it over here. Because I misplayed. Hmm. Okay. Mid has no farm though. 48 CS. Jesus. Uh, my wave slow pushes away, so we can just do it really slowly. Let's just go above. No. Cool. Nasher's Tooth next. Attack speed, AP, CDR. All extremely good stats for us. Uh, AP funnels into our W, it funnels into our Q as well. Both of them have AP ratios. Also, our, our R has two AP ratios. On the uh, damage part, then on the magic resist part. Ooh, I had that hit. I'm just worried his jungle's right here. Oh my god, the minion block's wild. Uh, it's a little delayed. Not exactly what I wanted to do there. I'm gonna run down and get this camp. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. I guess this guy could run up here, right? Oh shit. What the fuck? I yoinked it. I yoinked it. I think I might still die though. Ho, ho, ho. What the fuck is going on, dude? I, I have no idea wh where that guy came from. He just appeared. Am I seeing things? What happened right there? Okay. Mind exploding. Okay. Going over here. Get some attack speed. More attack speed equals building up our passive more, which equals even more attack speed. Then also we get to our third proc more often. And now that we're level 11, the third proc went from 100 damage to 140. Then it's going to buff up again to 180. But then it's got a 70% AP ratio, so we'll amp it up by another, what, 70 damage off of this? Plus whatever the on hit is. Pretty good. Oh. Don't want to go under tower there. This jungle's bot. Cool. Yeah, see, at this point, he heals so much. It can be quite difficult. Oh, I chilled. <laughs> I didn't click back. Just gotta make sure you keep attacking. Do you want to cycle to that? third hit as often as possible. So in between the fights, I just auto the minions to try and build up to that third hit. Just gonna give me as much damage as possible. This build. Not really gonna work against me because I'm not really worried about that stuff. Again, two hits, leap auto. I'm gonna try and catch him when he goes to Q, which he is not gonna do, I guess. Uh-oh. I mean, it's hard to do too much here, realistically. You can kind of just sit under tower. I don't really think I can dive him. I didn't have to flash out. It was unnecessary. Unnecessary. Should 
be able to get tower now. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We call that getting outplayed, baby. <laughs> Come on, son. This R is auto attacks. What's my E do? No, no, no. No, no, no. Yo, Warwick just ulted me top, man. He ulted me. Yeah, do it fast, though. Fast. Go. Probably too late. Like, you had to do this shit like 20, sec 20 seconds ago. Oh, God. I think you just rush it at this point. You <laughs> just rush that shit, bro. Oh, God. I'm trying to come here. Way, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a rough one. Oof. Pain. Yeah, that fight didn't go well at all. Two people like tried to fight them. They should have just like tucked themselves in the back of the pit and just gone for it. Make the enemy have to commit fully in. Buys more time. You can get the dragon and then try and turn on one person. Instead it was like two people were trying to turn, which made the dragon die way slower. So the one person trying to do the dragon's play is now really bad. But then the two people fighting them is also really bad because you're getting hit by the dragon while you're getting fought by three people. It's like, you know. Everybody just had to make the same choice. Like they could have all turned. I think it's just bad. is going on in mid lane oh no it should be alright though I have item what do solo zebra only here bringing you more stabby killing action oh no the zebra don't tell him don't tell him about the zebra Yeah, I'm gonna leave that pink ward so you can watch me steal this shit. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Ooh. Nah, we're walking through wards here for sure. <gasps> right? Oh yeah. Really? I gotta go. All right, sweet. And then we're going Abyssal Mask, which does not build out of this. It builds out of something else. What is it, this thing? Okay, cool. Boom, boom, whatever, go. Could have sold Potion and gotten this. That's fine, I guess. Could have got this and a pink board. I don't know. I felt like I wanted a little bit of magic resist. This is a bad fight, don't do it. I'm gonna be walking into Syndra and Twitch in a choke and get obliterated. No bueno. Ooh, this might be good though. Oh yeah. Oh, so close. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm kind of tanky. Ooh. Oh 
Okay, be careful. He's over here. And then he went top lane. Does he have a... Hmm. Okay. I might run into Twitch. We shall see. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know why the jungler's top. Q. Yep. Called it. Oh, no. Yeah, I fucked it up. I kind of still like this a lot, though. Man. That dude's weak as hell. Bloop. Try and take this wave out. I need a little bit of lifesteal going on here. I'm with you, I'm with you. Twitch is gonna open up on you. Oh. Please, 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 please. I need to wait for my E to be up. Twitch is still over here. Okay. Ward over. I have like a billion gold again. Jesus! Alright, Lich Bane. This game is spicy. This game is very spicy. I like it. Aw, oh, Sheen, man. This is so good. Hell yeah. Alright, so we got a lot of magic resist. We got a decent amount of HP, 3,000 health, and then obviously the armor and magic resist here. 50 armor, 74 magic resist. And you got a lot of HP, that's really good too. So we're almost at 2 2. Nice. Then we're gonna get Lich Bane next for even more damage, more burst on our W. 261, 223. I like it. I mean, I don't mind fighting this guy a little bit. I don't think we should start that. Yeah, I think we should look for some poke stuff. Like, that's quite good, I think. My R... Okay, I'm gonna press R. Oh, kill this guy. What the fuck? Oh, we're gonna get gangbanged by their team, though. It's not everybody, but I don't know if I have this. W? Ooh. Here? Okay. Definitely liking this. Sweet! This game's wild, man. Oh my god. This is spicy. Jesus. This guy is so fed. Trying to deal with that is not easy at all. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I can just ward this shit and start it. Oh, you can just stand there. That's all good. Good work, squad. Alright, let's bail. Ooh, movement speed, yeah. Or um, ability is pretty good. I'm gonna take the movement speed, though. I would probably be splitting here. I just think my team will die if I'm not there. So I'm gonna go be there. Because I have to do a lot in these fights. Like, imagine them fighting without me. You don't have to imagine, you can just watch what happens. Almost. I had to look to turn back in on these two. That one. Is it enough to get the other? Almost. Oh, you missed all your stuffs. Almost enough to get the other one. It's just. 
It's hard. <laughs> they got a lot of summoners and shit. And it's kind of like a 1v4. Oh, oh. My man, just go for the same guy. Why are you going for the other one? Jesus. It's got no magic resist. Like he has no MR and you have double pen. Like he doesn't have a mythic item either. He's not that tanky. Just fucking kill him. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, we're slot locked here. This is really annoying. There's nothing I can spend gold on. I mean, I could buy a potion, but... I don't want to do that. I'm really worried about going into the sideline. I feel like it'd be... Better if Le Blanc did, but it's not. I don't know. This is one of those games that's really difficult because Twitch is the fed guy and he's just going to open up and one shot the team. So if you're not like stacked up together and like ready to counteract him at any given moment, it's probably going to end pretty poorly. Yeah, we're sending too many people down here. Yo, we can get like a ward here. We don't know where their vision is. Oh, bro. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I didn't get it though. That works. Baron after. I'm gonna flash on Twitch. So if he shows up, we kill. Oh my god, dude. I'm still flashing on Twitch, but... Also, we have LeBlanc who can just scout around for it. Oh, that was kind of bad. Huge. Oh. I don't have E for Twitch anymore, but it should be okay. Hey. As long as we kill the jungle. That works. Dope. I don't know what I want to do last item. Hmm. I'm going to think for a second. Go top. Dragon in 140. Damn. This is weird. My W does 330, R does 300. And then we have an extra 62 damage every auto from this. Our Sheen proc is 214, R just went up to 343. Okay. And then we have like 1.5 attacks per second, 1.6. A little bit more, almost two. 1.89 attacks per second, pretty decent, pretty decent. I'm really hoping my team doesn't die. I mean, I don't know if you think this is gonna work, but there's literally no way. I'm fucking massive. I told you, dude, don't try me. <laughs> I'm fucking massive. Cause I read all those numbers, but you gotta realize like, I can get all that stuff to happen on the same tick. We're RuneScape now. I can have my W, my third proc of my ultimate, Nasher's Tooth, obviously, and uh, proc of the Lich Bane all at the same time, and that's like a thousand something damage. And then I have this item, which is reducing your MR. And so it's likely that I actually get close to that thousand something damage. I might just like win the game myself, because my team's running it down to them. So we're in a base race scenario, I think. Oh boy. Joe's backing. Syndra's backing. Warwick's here. Ooh. I think I'm okay. Cool. I still don't know what I want. This is probably pretty fine. You can get like a Zanya's too. Actually, we can't because they buff the cost. Get some, get some more armor. 200 armor, we should be good. Rage Blade, I have no crit. Wouldn't be that much value. It would only be uh, 
Do, well, I don't know. I guess I get the bonus auto to get to my third hit faster. Oh god. He just used his uh, knockback. I don't want to flash for this. Ooh. Oh, careful, boys. There's still a tower there. Uh oh. We have a lot of value with this top wave that we set up. We get super minions crashing in there. That's hard to deal with. Oh, team just got wiped. Oh. 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 Yep. It's a problem. He just like literally runs at me. And he's gonna eat me for like you know. It's actually only like a fifth of my health. Only. <laughs> But it's hard because I gotta kill everybody else. Like Twitch just opens up and wipes my whole team. If I'm not able to get on him immediately, but I'm the, also like the only one that really starts the fights. Because I have to kind of jump on somebody with E. I guess we have LeBlanc that can catch people. We can just be more patient and wait for LeBlanc to jump on somebody. How would I optimize here? I was like really thinking about this. How much does this sell for? 18? Oh no, it is enough. Cool. I like this. We're gonna have so much pen here. 20 pen. This is gonna reduce magic resistance. They work a uh, different. Because one's pen, one's like a reduction. I don't remember exactly what order there is. But there is an order to percent, flat, and then there's like different types of each one. But yeah, it all affects the math. Because it's like order of operations, right? But yeah, I don't know the exact order. I'm sure somebody in the comment section or you can Google it. See, I like the split, but I mean, my team almost lost the whole game earlier. Luckily, I forced three people back. Oh, God. People are here. Oh, I can get stuff in mid. Yeah, they have more people there. They're gonna send them to me now, but it's alright. Oh, I can use this, I can use this, I can use this. They're gonna come try and defend me. Oh. Never mind, I can't use this. He doesn't have a way out. Should have tried to figure out how to get out of there. Bro, Syndra damage is fucking wild. I was like, I got, you know, 200 magic resist. I'll be good. You don't got shit. Damn. Why does Sona never run out of mana? 100% base mana regen increase. 100% base mana regen increase. 50% base mana regen increase. 115 base mana generating <laughs> Like, what do you mean, how? The tab. <laughs> oh, man. The entire build. And even this shit. It's probably like biscuits which gave more mana. Probably has mana flow banned. Um. I think I'm gonna get the beefiness. Beefiness. Beef Try again. Beefiness and more tenacity. It's probably the move here. Twitch doesn't have flash for one minute, so we really gotta try and kill him. They're gonna come through here. Oh, they're gonna chase into Twitch opening up on them. Oh, he's over here. Sweet. Oh god. That was actually horrible. Stop going here. Don't go there. Like, we're literally getting shit on over a wall where we can't fucking defend ourselves. 
Oh, come on. Oh, that's great. I can go on these guys. Just give me a second. Twitch is still over here. I can get it. Walk over here! I don't need you tanking, bro. We're trying to find Twitch. There you go. That's smart. And once it gets low, I'll press E. Try and burst it. Oh my god, dude. A little, er a little early. A little early. Okay, okay. Yeah, you just patrol like that so you can spot the stealth person. Well done, well done. I mean, I guess I could sell this for something else, but... Cool. 19 kills, damn. Okay. That's pretty solid, pretty solid. I have flash. So does Twitch, though. I love how there's still a tier 1 mid tower at 38 minutes in this game. What the fuck? Oh. Yeah, I think this is still fine. Uh oh, I don't think this is fine. I'm gonna get killed by the yeah. Oh man, I think that might have just threw the whole game for us boys. I'm so sorry. Oh, we might be saved. We might be saved. Yeah, yeah, stall, stall, stall. Yeah, yeah. They might try and do this. Oh my god, I took 5,500 damage, bro. That's wild. I mean, I could sell this for like something. Hmm. How much movement speed do I lose there? Is there a new league tint on the game? Why is it always gray? Hey, Red Mercy, shut up. <laughs> it's only gray when I'm playing. All right. Four thousand three hundred HP. I get one hundred and twenty-nine magic resistance and eighty additional armor when I activate R. I'm like three hundred, three hundred. God damn. Yeah, yeah, push it. Oh, pick that guy. Pick that guy. I can keep going forward. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We keep going forward. Let me chase this guy. Got his flash out of him. I just have to avoid... Yep. It's fine. I got what I wanted to do. The Cho'Gath is chasing me the entire time. Spamming his R key. I think my team wins a fight like this, so we should be good here. I think. Uh, Baron. Huh! We got Twitch's flash out of him too. Bro, come on, get over there, Jesus! Oh yeah, maybe should have went base. Good point. Interrupted again. Oh shit. Really good point. Whoops. My fault. Oh my god, dude, they're gonna back before this guy. <laughs> All right, we're fucked. Oh no. Oh. Save it. Hey. And we have 1.5 attacks per second. When we have this our passive stacked up, we get what another 88%. I don't know exactly what that breaks into. Because it all converts off of like the base amount. An easy way to find out is attack eight times. Yeah, so 2.3. Damn. It's actually wild. 
And then we have Conk, and Conk's probably god tier for this at this point. I bet Conk's better than lethal, lethal Tempo here. We get so much value late game out of it. I mean, look at the healing. That's ridiculous. But we also gain 5 ability power per stack, 12 times 60 ability power off of this. It's literally like a full item. I don't mind fighting this guy when he's by himself. Oh, that's bad. Is there not a guy over here? I mean, I tried, bro. I got a flash out of him. It's the best I can do. Uh-oh. Gotta like kind of do it slow. Oh shit! I'm looking at Twitch. That's all. Twitch can't engage when I'm standing at standing here staring at him. Oh. Oh, I might be dead. Yep. I don't know, man. I'm like the only threat in the back line. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I know, not die, but. Like, I feel like I have to be the one that threatens the back line or we're going to get zero openings. But maybe I'm wrong. Oof. It's like a four against five. I think we're supposed to do something. Because he's just getting free shit. I don't know. I think we lose. I don't know if these two can hold it. Oh, never mind. They might be able to hold. He just kind of inted. The losing of towers is kind of a problem here now, though. Yeah, I see. My fault. I don't know. I just felt pressured to do stuff. The stuff I did wasn't good enough. Fade. I don't know. I just have to do like everything in the team fights. I have to kill both of their carries while I get like peeled by the the other two. I don't know. Didn't do enough at the end there. Once I jumped in, I knew I wasn't gonna catch. I knew it was bad. But, god damn. Yeah, I mean, as a melee, doing this much damage, that's, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And then tankiness, yeah. We're pretty goddamn tanky. I mean, I wish I could have played it a little bit better at the end. Finish it up. Maybe a little bit of more movement speed would have been nice at the end to catch them. Because they popped the Sona movement speed and got away from me. Or if I, like, eat and then jumped a little bit later. That way I could just eat instantly as I jumped instead of like having to wait like 0.5 seconds or whatever it was, which gave him enough time to move away. Either way, GG well played. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you're watching on YouTube, like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching the live stream, follow the live stream. GG well played. Thanks for watching. Peace.